All right, so this is a little tutorial about creating query pages. First thing I need to say is that there's already a query capability in uh, VBCS. Uh, there's the filter property of a table that you can turn on and associate with a specific field. And there's also the advanced search capability. So if you now switch into live mode, you will see, for example, that if I type S here, it would filter the list to show me just names who have S in them. Um, you can also do more advanced filters. For example, you can say, I'm just interested in names that uh, start with S. Okay, And you can add another condition. For example, I also want the type to be uh, important. Okay, You have the search button here. And when you search, you'll get important people who starts with S. Okay. So this is built-in functionality here with the filter and the advanced filter. What I want to show you, though, is that you can also create your own custom query pages if you do a, a little bit of trickery. So let me show you what I mean. To do this, we're going to create a new page. We're going to call this page the search page. Okay? And we're going to use an edit type of page. Now, an edit type of page needs to be connected to a business object. But we're not going to connect it to the actual visitor object, but rather to a new object we're going to call the search visitor object, for example. Again, any name would do here. All right. Since we're now creating um, a new edit page, we can drag over specific fields. And we can also, of course, customize the look and feel. So for example, let's put uh, two columns here. And what we want to do then is pick up, um, let's say, a radio button and drop it here. So this creates a new um, field in your object. And we're going to call this field the type. okay? And we're going to say that it's using an existing list, the list of types. Okay? And now you have this capability. Okay? Then you can drop, for example, a text field below it and say this would be a field that we'll call name. Again, this is a new field in our search object. You can, again, play with the layout. For example, switch this to be displayed this way. Then you need a search button. You can put it, for example, over here, make it a little bigger, switch the title to say search. Okay. Now we want to show the results. The results are going to be shown in a table. So we'll pick a table, drop it here, and connect it to the place where the data actually exists, which is the visitor object. We're going to show the name and the type, and maybe the when field. OK. So we're almost done. What we need to do next is to tell the search button to actually execute the query. To do this, we're going to click on the action, add an action, a custom one, and we're going to use a business object action on the visitor object. We're going to fetch all the visitors. All right. So this would fetch all the visitors, but we want to actually filter the table. And this is where the magic is done. You go over to the data tab, the default query, and you're going to edit the default query for the table. And what we're going to do here is we're going to say, you know what? I want the type to match not um, a fixed value, but rather an expression. And the expression looks at the search field we created called type. OK? And let's add one more condition that says that the name okay, needs to start with, and then again, pick up an expression and use the name field. Okay. Now, you can request that all the conditions would be fulfilled, or just uh, one of them, which means basically an or or an end condition between those two lines. All right, let's run our page. And if we look, for example, for important people starting with S, click search, we'll get those people. Now, the interesting thing is that if I now type SA, we'll just get Sam. Okay. If I look for VIPs, okay, there's no VIPs starting with S, but if I remove those fields, I would get my two VIPs. And again, I can filter those further using M. So this is how you can create your own custom query panel for a table. Uh, one more thing you might want to do 
is allow people to access your page. So your page right now is kind of a standalone floating page. You want to hook it into the main menu over here. Okay. So to do that, you click on the main menu area, click the edit menu, and just bring your new page to be a top page. You can change the icon if you want to. Okay, save, run. You have your regular page, and you also have your search page over here, where you can look up um, all the VIPs, for example. And that's a query page.